Senator Oluremi Tinumbu, the lawmaker representing Lagos Central in the Senate, and wife of the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate Ashwaji Bola Tinumbu, on Wednesday charged Nigeria women to begin mobilization campaigns in offices, markets, and their respective places of work ahead of the 2023 general election. Huh. Why should they campaign? They don't, they don't need to campaign now because you have been in the you have been in power since over seven years. So your good works, everybody's aware. Nobody needs to tell anybody. It is those who have not been in power that they will go and be telling that they should campaign for them because okay, these are the things that they have not done before. They've not been empowered, you know, at this level. And then this will you should tell them what they are not aware of. Because in as much your party and your husband is a national leader of the party i don't think uh, there's nobody that is not aware of what they are going through because you can't tell me that uh, the people you want to go and be preaching to or campaigning to they are, there's nothing that you want to tell them that they are not aware i think your good work should be able to speak for you well this is even as she expressed confidence that the joint ticket duo of her husband and his running mate senator kashim shetima will protect the interests of women and safeguard their rights once elected at the poll. This is the idea they vest me. If the system is okay, forget whether women or no women. Everybody will enjoy. These are the tactics and this uh, nonsense propaganda they always is. Uh, women, they have to consider women. They have to give women some positions. Who would, that won't help? It is those that they are giving that position. Those are the ones that will benefit. We are talking of where everybody will be equal, both men and women, whether you are a child or whatever, or you are a youth or you are a teenager. We thought like everybody should enjoy the system of the government, not say women, women. Which women are we talking about? When you selected some few women, they are the ones that will enjoy that. The rest people will be banned to the Philistine. Well, the former first lady of Lagos State made the plea in a statement issued by a media handler in Abuja on Wednesday. Uh -huh. All of them, they get media. The statement partly read, I urge you all to intensify efforts and mobilizing women in your respective domains workplaces markets and prepare to retrieve receive us in your states and zones as part of our campaign activities i urge you to also work with other capable women who are not here with us today as members of the campaign team but have the energy skills network resources and commitment required to mobilize women for the upcoming elections. I want to specifically thank the countless women group who have been up and doing even before Ashiwaju's victory at the primary election was certain. From our market women's groups to our young women's groups to our irreligious groups to those constituted by current and former female governor, government officials and other classifications to numerous to mention i thank you all for your inflicting support and your unshakable belief in the prospects of the tinubu shetima presidency tinubu's call is coming on the heel of the inauguration of the women presidential campaign team which took place at asu villa on monday in a glowing tribute the 62 year old senator had commended the president major general muhammad buari retired who was represented by his chief of staff Professor Ibrahim Gambari for being gender sensitive and placing premium value on the women folk. She also expressed confidence that the women's wing of the APC presidential campaign comprising seasoned politicians, market women, media professionals and others posed says the ability to bring the party over the finish line in the first position at next year's polls. When women are united, wonderful things happen. And I have immense confidence in the ability of the amazing team assembled here today to secure the women's vote for APC. Let us tell our women that the Tinubu Shetima ticket is the best option for, the, for them because the track records of both men now show that they are gender sensitive and committed, with, committed to uplifting the Nigerian women. With these two men at the helm of affairs, Nigeria women can rest assured that their interests will be protected and their rights. What of the women that have been messed up with all these uh, all these uh, Fulani yes, men, all these uh, bandits? You have never come out one, one day to say you want to fight for them. Somebody was talking about the 
insecurity in the state, a man for that matter. You as a woman, you sat down there, you were accusing him acting like an opposition. And you're telling us that they want to take care of the women. Of course, I should understand the taking care of the women or having the interest of the women is by giving some people few individuals appointments. And once that is done, mm -hmm, abushe, abushe, nye, all, all for good. The rest people are will be bound to the Philistine. You can imagine. You can imagine selfishness. You now it is now you now remember the women. Mm. Nigeria women can rest assured that in the interest of the it will be protected and their rights safeguard. Not only that, but you can also count on Ajia, Nana, Shetima, and me as your partners for progress. You can count on us, she said. Count on you, wish you. Like I said, when we when women are being molested, have you ever come out on the floor of the Senate as a woman? Have you ever come out to debunk that or to, to go against that? No, or to speak against it? No. Hmm. We start by removing the horses of vampires called Agmeros, praying, uh, praying on hard-working families, especially women in Lagos State. Will you have the courage, or are you already planning on how to make parasitic living in national business? Every Yoruba and non-Yoruba should stop defending failures. He or she witnesses with his or her family with. We all have to support our fairy fairy endorsement for B if we really want our oneness as people in a country. I wonder if some people have a conscience at all. Campaign in the markets when the same women are dying of hunger, when their children cannot go to school again, when cost of living have uh, risen 10 times. God let that will be done concerning Nigeria election come 2023. She's desperate. Desperate to become the first lady as her husband is desperate to become the president. I weep for Nigeria if they allow this couple with that character plus Shetima to us. They don't, they, they don't even get manners. And that is it. They don't just get manners at all. I thought Inubu and Remy are good in Nigeria. 2023, 25th February, Nigerians will tell you that citizens are paramount. Beg people today to support and vote for them. And tomorrow, ignore the crying and begging of the same people they begged yesterday. Yes, they should campaign for Tinubu very well in the markets and votes will be at the polling units. That is a division of labor management strategy. May God help us not to miss Peter B in 2023. If APC has done well, madam, didn't need to beg share them now. That is what I'm saying. You don't even need to go and be persuading them. Your good work will speak. So when you force them the other time to come out, how would they continue to do it freely or willingly? People are wiser now. Even if you force them, they will still vote the candidates of their choice on election day because it is a secret ballot.